the winter winds have blown and brought about a change of luck as spots move down the road. This is Safari Live. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to an epic start to our sunrise safari on this Monday morning. As you can see, we've got Tingana walking down the road, and what a way to begin our week. Now, my name is Tristan, and on camera today, I've got Ferg, and a very, very, very big thank you to all of you that let us know that there was a leopard sawing on Juma Dam Camp. So remember, you can now ask any questions, or if you want to just say hello on hashtag Safari Live. But what a way to start. Look, he's even turned and looked at us. Good morning, boy. Now that is a sight for sore eyes. After two days or three days now of tracking leopards everywhere, we've been struggling and now to just come across this big boy walking down the road is such a special way to start the day. I'm so excited. As you may be able to tell, this is going to be so cool. And the nice thing is, is that at least we've got him early and it seems like he's behaving himself because sometimes with Tingana, you'll find him and the first thing he'll do is dart into a thicket and then you've got sort of tough time to try and keep up with him but it seems this morning he's decided to behave himself and to just stay on the road nicely for us and hopefully we'll be able to follow him as he goes it's going to get a little bit hairy in places because we are going to go through a few drainage sections and we do have our roof on because it's a rainy morning and so hopefully he's going to be kind to us and just stay on the road as he continues his territorial patrol southwards but he seems like he's digested a lot because yesterday the guys told me that he was very full bellied and this morning it looks as though he's got a bit of a flap on that tummy so he's obviously digested that warthog meal he had two days ago and has allowed himself to be able to now start doing his territorial patrols that's why we heard that sawing earlier as him telling everybody this is my area i'm back don't think that you can come in here and take over and so that's why he's making such a lot of noise but how cool is this there's something cool about finding leopards first thing in the morning and then just following them. Ferg, are you excited? I am. <laughs> Ferg is very happy because he says that we've been looking and searching and before we were kind of driving along and I was like, let's just quickly try to see if we can get to Chelapan in case this leopard's gone down Vulture's Nest. And as I had said it, Ferg's like, leopard! <laughs> so we were quite excited about the fact that we found him, the fact that we found him walking down the road. But isn't he magnificent? He's looking so good. I know he's not everybody's favorite because of some of his sketchy behavior in the past. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, he's ate a female leopard last year after she mated with another male. And he then, I don't know, took it upon himself to kill her for some reason. So he lost a bit of favor with some people, but he is a magnificent creature. Look at those spots and you can see lots of scent marking going on. Mr. Tingano, you're being an absolute treat this morning because you're walking on the road, which is highly unusual for this cat. So often, like I say, when you find him, he decides off into the thicket and you've got to try and keep up with him. And don't you love the way leopards walk? They've got almost these bandy back legs that kind of move out and then those front paws that flick as they move. I love watching leopards walk down the road. It's so cool. What an epic way to start the day. Sure. Now, of course, he is mobile straight south, so I don't think we're going to have him all morning. If he keeps up the pace that he's walking now and he stays on Twin Dams Road, I would imagine that within the next 45 minutes, he'd probably be crossing our southern boundary. But what I'm hoping is that he's maybe going to take either Ingwe Alley or Pangolin Track and start heading towards Treehouse Dam and maybe then go and settle there for the day. That's what I'm hoping. But let's see, because it looks like he might be angling off towards the west. Come on. Yep, well, so we're gonna go down our Ingwe Alley and it looks like we're gonna head towards Philemon's Dip. So we're gonna try and stay with him. And while we do that, let's go across to my friend Byron so he can say good morning. <laughs> 